my equestrian friends, it's me, Lisa, and today I wanted to share with you how to get your horse used to having the clippers used on his bridle path. Now, this is my horse, Ethan, and today we are going to trim his bridle path using clippers. Ethan is a really good horse, but I haven't used the clippers on him a lot, so what I want to do first is just kind of get him used to being tied, and we're going to be having some grooming time. So I brush his mane, brush his neck, and as you can see, his mane that I roached last year is growing back. And that's gonna be another video where I show you how I'm gonna get it to lay down on one side. But for today, I just wanna work on his bridle path. So I'm just kind of playing with his ears, playing with his mane, and just making sure he is comfortable with what I'm doing and working with him. And he seems pretty calm. So now it's time to get the clippers out. Now when I'm working with the clippers, I do untie him and I'm just holding on to the lead rope. That way he isn't gonna jerk back when I have the clippers on his neck. So what I did first was just put the clippers on his neck then when he was okay with that, I turned the clippers on and put that on his neck. When he was okay with that, then I gave him a treat and let him know how good he was. And then he was being calm, so I just used the clippers just to trim his bridle path a little bit. And for me, the key to success with using the clippers on his bridle path is doing it a little bit at a time. And I don't wait until he reacts to me using the clippers. I do a little bit and then I take the clippers away or the stimulus, whatever you want to call it. And then I make sure to reward him. I do give him treats, but if you don't have any treats, you can even just give him a little pat on his nose and tell him how good he is or give him a little rub and let him know he's doing a great job. And a lot of this is trial and error, just doing a little bit at a time. And when your horse is comfortable with it, then you just move on. At least that's what I do. And that seems to work really well for me and my horses. So now I have him tied back up again and I'm brushing through his bridle path and his mane to see how many other little spots that I wasn't able to get. And then I just repeat the process. And a simple trick to clean out the excess hair out of your clippers, if you have a hoof pick with a brush on it, it works great for getting the hair out of the clippers. So again, I'm going to unclip him and then use the clippers on his neck again. Let him know it's not gonna hurt him. It's not anything scary. And then I just work on getting the rest of the hair off for his bridle path. And I did this on both sides and also on the front to make sure I didn't have any little hairs that, you know, that I missed. I think it's good to go it from all angles because number one, you're getting your horse used to it. Number two, you're gonna find some little hairs that are still hanging on. Using clippers on your horse's mane, like his bridle path, doesn't have to be a scary process if you go slow. And reward him for doing a good job of standing there while you're using these clippers. And Ethan loves his treats, so I make sure to give him plenty of treats for a job well done. See, trimming your horse's bridle path really doesn't have to be that big of a challenge if you just spend a little bit of time and get your horse used to the clippers. And 
I think you can see how his bridle path turned out, especially with his mane sticking straight up. Looks pretty good. Makes his neck look a lot thinner. And when I'm all done, I just use the hook pick and clean out the excess hair from the clippers. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch all my other budget equestrian and DIY videos. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.